but their quickness uh, and their length and being deployed uh, in creative manner is one of their keys for USC, something they were not able to do against Arizona and ultimately cost them in their loss this weekend. Edie again. Oh, yeah. This year, USC 18 and 1. The only loss was Saturday to Arizona. Mobley on the kick out. Edie again. Is he feeling it? Yes, he is. He's a transfer from St. John's. And a good fit uh, with the length, the versatility. Uh, that's an example of here's a look up the floor for the Trojans. Peterson double pump on the back down. And his pass taken away. It's Peterson the other way. You want to get a shot on the rim. Those turnovers. Are Empty possessions. Peterson finds the cutter. What a finish inside for Isaiah White. Here come the Trojans. Shutouts leading to runouts. Early offensive opportunities. Take advantage, Ethan Anderson inside. Dodges a bullet. Peterson. Too easy to the rim. I like Peterson there. Maneuvering at a speed. Nine points last time out in the win over Utah. Gets it inside now for Kepnong. And the little hook goes down. First field goal for Oregon. We've yet to see Isaiah Mobley in this game. And generally, USC wins with those Mobley brothers. And what a drive. And the seize part and a big time slam for Oregon. First of all, you know, on-ball defense is where you level off the angles. Uh, don't allow those direct drive, dribble penetration. We'll look to shoulder some of this scoring load. Williams still out there. Another double-figure score, as is this man, L.J. Figueroa. Williams, aggressive. Pull up, pop. Rolls through. The Oregon defense has settled in. Three ball for Anderson. Got it. Ethan Anderson. Of players, uh, motivational methods, something to kind of snap them out of uh, that invasion of the body snatchers, and maybe but without forcing. By the way, Will Richardson, before that last time out, did pick up his second personal foul. And USC just continues to stroke it from downtown. And the Trojans regain possession. USC shooting 56% from the floor, 63%, 5 of 8 from 3. Do they have another one? Yes, they do. It's in cross-court diagonal, just threw a bullet. Eight assists on 11 field goals for the Trojans already. Duarte, the response, spot up. 90 total field goals. More than 50% of his field goal attempts have come from the outside this year, and he's been an excellent shooter once again. 42% from the three-point line. Ducks in transition. That's again an example of one of my favorites. Edie, step back. Oh, Taj Edie is high. Duarte, can he put his team on his back a little bit? We've seen it in the past. We've seen him just shoulder the scoring load, and Duarte starting to feel it from downtown. He's jacking shots, and they're shooting 36%. Uh, they're not making winning choices in terms of efficiency. How about it? That is, reminds me some of Tim Duncan as we see Peterson maneuvering and playmaking. Finds Mobley for the finish. With this two-point guard lineup with Edie and Anderson. Edie's going to have to do it himself. Oh, ties Edie. Money. Three of confidence. And give his teammates credit. They're getting the ball back to him, which is an intelligent approach. Eric Williams goes window. Moves well without the basketball. Another catch and shoot. Off the bounce. Pretty. Tajidi can't miss. Brad transfer from Santa Clara. And so many are straight swishes. I mean, you just hear the string music. Good take. Or on the other side, USC at 67%. Give and go. Peterson inside. Nifty finish with the left. Uh, there's. Uh, they average five and a half blocks per game and uh, their length they've got to chip away by getting those defensive stops and here is usc on the board just segments that are remaining here in the second half too much space for Tajidi. <laughs> whatever it takes uh, but do not leave edie well, that band-aid better be waterproof with the way that Edie is going right now. Oh! Well, Marie inside for the finish. Without fouling, uh, there's intelligence and purpose on that defensive play as well as the athleticism. 
Figueroa quickly towards the rim. Both sides have really utilized that transfer market to grab talent and integrate them pretty seamlessly into the, the lineup. Similar LJ night that he's had so far, but can't hit there. He's got 24 points as Duarte lost it initially and then does throw it away. Peterson lined it up. Oh, slam it down. Evan Mobley showing off the skill. And a great pass by Peterson as well. The Ducks attack right back at the Trojans. Got the chance for the old-fashioned, their best. Mobley on the outside. Showing off the ball handling, nearly stripped, does get it back, and that is just too easy for the length of that on the court. Just a cool customer and gifted in terms of the ease that he plays the game with. Figueroa, another three ball. The ball close to underneath the basket, something they want to avoid against that press. Wow, how about the challenge at the rim? Agboncolo change a game. We've seen him on the glass, uh, but his length defensively in terms of the big block in transition. Which, by the way, Omorui and Figueroa, who struggled a little bit in the first half combined for just two in the first 20 minutes, have combined for 13 of Oregon's 15 points here in the second. Uh, not to be the master of the obvious. Duarte, good patience, good looking stroke. Oh, here is to go on a run and get it under double digits. No easy pass. But the next time out, that's the way to get the program. In terms of nice ducking on the inside. Richardson with the foul and the putback. And again, now the second half, it's down to 15. Peterson on the outside. Shot clock winding down. Peterson, oh, big shot. It's a, a counter punch. Taking Oregon's three away with the three of their own. Now Ducks in the press. And they get the steal. Up ahead, Williams. Settles on the left wing for three. Bullseye! Eric Williams Jr. from downtown. They continue to hang around and have an opportunity to cut into that deficit. Figueroa's been the hot hand. He stays hot. Help. Against Figueroa. Peterson on the drive. Peterson through traffic. Peterson, tough shot. His size hit that mid-range shot. Squared himself effectively. Oh, beautiful up and under, Eric Williams. On that, that initial surge that USC came out of the first half with. Quality that is really admirable about a program in sustained success. Yeah, and Dana Altman year to year adjusts. Adapts. Looking at the with USC has plenty. Disappointing loss on Saturday, 81 to 72, giving up those 81 points is the last thing that Andy Enfield wanted to see out of his team. But they come back today against a team in Oregon that had won five consecutive games, and they prove once again why they were on such a roll heading into this weekend. Now 12 and three coming into this game, they will be now 13 and three in Pac-12 play, 19 and four overall, and USC wire to wire with a 72. 58 victory.